Okay guys, we are back trying to make $1 million with no job. When we left off our husband, Brant, he tried to cook himself a meal and I, honestly, I don't even know what happened. He just dropped dead after he took a bite out of it. That was my seventh partner to die. My seventh partner. What is going on? I have such bad luck. I just wanted to see what it looked like under the covers, but maybe I maybe I don't want to see that. Oh, I feel so bad for me. Man, life is so hard. It really is so hard. I gotta put myself back out there today and, and find my next partner. This time we're gonna go after a woman because, you know, our last spouse was a brand. Was a brand. Damn, Kyle will not stop showing up at my house. Like what? It's 10.30 p.m. on a Monday. Kyle, I have work tomorrow. Sore back from cheap bed? Ouch, that mattress was firm like concrete. What? Since when is my bed firm like concrete? I thought I had a wonderfully plush bed. I mean, remember we literally found an old woman just in our house, in our bed a couple episodes ago. That, I feel like that has to mean that the bed is plush and soft as feathers. I think we should kick off this episode by going to visit Nancy because in the last episode, we dropped off Brant and Brent's two dogs that we got from marrying Brant. And I just wanna check in on her and see how she's taking to being a new dog mom. Wow, look at that big happy family. I'm dying at the person in the chat that said all the back shots in the bed made it deteriorate that's probably what happened that's probably why my mattress is hard as rocks because there's too many back shots oh um hello Ugh. nancy what nancy this is not okay why am i showing up at nancy's house and the three creatures i don't i don't know what to call a toddler and two dogs the three living beings that I left at your front doorstep are outside on the curb. Why are they out here, Nancy? Nancy, it's me. Oh, wow. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? I am just sick. I'm sick. Nancy's in here in the living room with her biological child having the time of their lives together. Meanwhile, where even is Alienetta? Where is she? Stinking like shit outside on the curb. Wow. And here I'm thinking that Katrina is the only nasty, evil, mean witch woman in this game but there looks like there's two i'm gonna take care of alienetta myself right now toddler care change diaper clean up she doesn't even have any clothes on out here what the hell oh what the f what was that oh my god she's a de she's a demon child no no i shouldn't say that about her you know what it's clear something's going on here she's being neglected and Maybe she just has a lot of emotions that she needed to take out on me in that moment. I'm not gonna let that stop me from helping her right now. Oh. Oh. Okay. That started off a little rough, but it looks like everything is um, it's working out now. Nancy, you know what? You mean, evil, nasty woman. Take this. Take this right now, Nancy. Take this, Nancy. Take this, Nancy. Take it right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Nancy. I don't even know how you can drink that water right now with the dirty diaper on the ground. Change outfit. What the heck? I was gonna put her in clothes, but... Nancy didn't even buy her any. How do I do that thing where I like throw the baby around and shake it up like Nancy was doing with her child? There we go. There we go, wow. So much fun, we're having so much fun together. This is the childhood that Alienetta deserves.
And what the hell is this? You have 24 hours to pay your bills before your power is shut off. That is so fucking sick. Really. That is fucking sick and twisted. Here I am, the mother that stepped up for Alienetta right now. And the government is telling me they're about to shut off my power. You know who that is too? It's the land grabs. I'm pretty sure when you pay your bills, it goes to the land grabs. Like what the fuck? Nancy's literally inside right now sending me a notice that my power is about to go off tomorrow. I need to bring um, Alienetta inside. She doesn't even have a bed in here. What the fuck? She's supposed to sleep. I'm gonna designate this as Alienetta's room up here. I'll put her up here. The dogs are just running around outside. I don't know why they're not going inside either. It's like she locked them out. <laughs> Nancy is going through it right now. Nancy literally thousand yard stare as fuck right now oh my god she's really going through it imagine you come to the land grabs house and you look through the window and you see this <laughs> and then you go in the backyard and look through the window and you see this you know i'm glad i showed up i gave alienetta a little bit of care that she really needed and i will be taking a parting gift on my way out wait a second what is this <gasps> awful reputation what why what did i do to deserve this an awful reputation isn't all bad keep an eye on your phone you'll occasionally receive intriguing opportunities from other sims of ill repute and while sims are less inclined to respond well to romantic introductions from you that's gonna be a problem don't fret friends may be willing to set you up on a blind date with other similarly cruel sims okay this is kind of interesting my friends will be able to set me up with like other sims playing the black widow challenge basically that's what that sounds like oh but that's true someone in the chat said friends question <laughs> mark anyway back to taking a parting gift Ooh, i'll take this tv that's perfect you know what i don't know something about that tv is making me really happy and wait hold on is this They have a firework launch pad in here. What the hell? I'm feeling happy and there's a launch pad. Oh, we need to celebrate. I got a brand new TV. Fire? Fire? Oh, sh fuck, fuck. I'm on fire. Fuck. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, wait, I'm not on fire. I'm not on fire. Oh, here comes Nancy. <laughs> Doggies, come here! Come up! Oh, sprinkler! Alienetta, get out of there! Get out of there, girl! And dogs, go! Go! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. The fire started again. Oh no, Alienetta, don't look at this! Don't look at this! Okay, the fire's out, but I think I think Alienetta got traumatized. Uh, her first trauma. Alienetta, it's okay. It's why is she why is she reacting to me like that? What's wrong? Why? Why can't I comfort you? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Wait. I'm feeling great after that. Fire? Woo, fire! Most Sims would freak out when there's a fire, but for Jen, the flames only elicit excitement. I mean, I know that's right. What did I just do to the toilet? Oh, no, 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 I didn't do that. There is no way I did that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Someone, it must have, well, it must have been, uh, there's a ton of ghosts in the basement down here. Like, look, there's so, there's literally like seven. Of, it could have been, yeah, it could have been any of the, yeah, it was one of the ghosts. Oh, I forgot I need to pay my bills. Hmm. Oh, stop. Hey, Jen, it's me, Rita. Do you want to go out on a date? Stop. Stop. Guys, I think I need to say yes. I think this might be my only shot at love right now because of how bad my reputation is. And Rita's a gilf. Grandmother, I'd like to fuck. Yes. I'm going. Ooh, do you think Rita's gonna notice how bad I smell? Uh, 
Shimba. She already did. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Wash hands. Wash hands. Brush teeth. Brush teeth. Wash hands. Wash hands. Okay, this is working. Brush teeth. Wash hands. Wait, what's this? Who are these people just coming up to me while I'm in the bathroom? Hello? Who is this? Why? Who is this man? Why is he standing so close to me? So, so. Hi. Who are you? Hello? Hi. Do you guys think these people have really bad reputations? And so that's why they're coming up to me. Like we're all gravitating towards each other. Wait, hold on. Who is this person? Why are they thinking about my future wife? Get your own gilf. Get your own gilf. Oh my God. Look how high my hygiene got. Who knew that your hygiene would go up so much if you brush your teeth and wash your hands? Well, we can talk to these people later. We are on a date with Rita who looks like, it looks like someone else is hitting on her by the way. So um, I need to get over here with my date. Blue haired bitch sneak in the background. Okay, can you please stop talking to my sexy gilf and go talk to someone else? Please, we are on a date here. Ugh, okay, that's it. That is it. Take this. Okay, there we go. Okay, finally, it's just us two. Ah, oh, it sucks because like more than half of our date time has already passed, but that's okay. I'm gonna really, uh, I'm gonna turn on the charm. You know what? I will order us potato nectar. The f is that? Okay, I'm gonna get that for us. Oh, she's loving me. Deep conversation. Let's get deep over some potato nectar right now. Come on, Rita. Mopsy. Let me um, hello? Go away! <gasps> oh, it's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours! Rita, baby! You didn't have to say that about me, that's so sweet! <laughs> Who said to blow the dust off Rita's box? Stop! Rita's a gilf, there's no dust on her box, okay? But if there is any, we will be blowing it off. Wait! Stop. I don't know if you guys caught that, but that paparazzi just gagged at me in the background. Bitch. Rude, evil bitch! You know, it's really crazy to me that I have such a big and bad reputation, but I am a nobody. Make it make sense. <laughs> For real though, make it make sense. How can I have an awful reputation, but I'm unknown? Like, I feel like if I have an awful reputation, I'm definitely known to some extent because my reputation is so bad that people are literally gagging when they see me. So I don't get this. I don't get this. Why am I unknown? It would be nice if I had at least like a little bit of fame because then, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'd get some like fame perks. Aren't there fame? Yeah, there's fame points in this game. I could, I could get something out of that, but nothing. I'm just an awful person, I guess. Unknown flop? I guess that is me. At least I'm rich. I mean, hello, $600,000 in the bank is insane. And I have no job. That's crazy. Oh, who's this? Holly Alto. Okay, B-lister. She looks, she looks rich. I know I'm on a date with Rita right now, but let me see if I can introduce myself. Attempt introduction. What kind of celebrity does that? Did you see that? This celebrity just went and took all the trash out of the trash can and fucking threw it on the floor. That's a little crazy. I don't know how she doesn't have a bad reputation for that, you know? I just want people to hold others to the same standard that they're holding me to. That's all I ask. All right, let's see if I can do this introduction or if I'm gonna flop at it. Raj! Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, oh God. Oh God. Oh! Oh! That made me feel so embarrassed. She didn't even like, she literally didn't even blink. Like zero reaction from her. Ask for hugs, should I try that? You guys already know where, where my hug at. Where my hug at, Holly? Oh, she said yes. She said yes. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, my date is leaving. Bye, Rita. Where my hug at? Bye. Hello? What? That's it? Just a hug? You know what, Holly? Take this. Take this right now, Holly. For real, take this right now. 
Take it right now. You know what? This woman, take this. And this woman, you take this too. And you know what this paparazzi? Take this. Oh, Malcolm, I thought we were fr Malcolm, take this. Who's this? Get back here and take this. And take this. No, you are not leaving. Get back here. Take this, just waiting to get the freeze ray. She's literally waiting in line to get the freeze ray. Who are you? Take this. Oh, shit. Shit, they're starting to dethaw. Go, 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 go. Go look at Alienetta. Oh. What? When did that happen? Alienetta grew up into a child. And she's bald. Well, you know what? This is perfect because I'm pretty sure tomorrow is Winterfest. Yep, and I definitely don't want to spend it alone, so I will be inviting myself over to Nancy's house anyway to spend Harvest Fest with her and her family, and we'll get to see Alienetta now that she's all grown up into a child. Good morning! It is Winterfest. Oh my god! I'm really excited about it too. I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, before we head on over to Nancy's for Winterfest, I think we should buy some gifts. We cannot show up empty-handed for Winterfest. That would just be wrong. It would not be in the in the Winterfest spirit. But first, let's go ahead and sell that TV that we stole from Nancy's house because we could use the money from the sale, $2,076, to buy the gifts for Nancy and her family. Yep, that's perfect. I feel like Alienetta would love this robot because she kind of gives like robot vibes with the outfit that she's wearing. So I'm gonna get her a robot. For Nancy, I'm gonna get her a mushroom. For Malcolm, I'm gonna get him a potato. We need to get Major a gift and he is still a toddler. So let's just get him, let's just get him this toy car. Winterfest is really gonna be missing something if I don't invite Rita to be there. So let me go ahead and buy her a gift too. And maybe when I get to Nancy's, I'll invite Rita over. Maybe I could even propose. I feel like that's the thing people do when they're like super romantic, like they make a holiday or event like all about them and propose to someone. Oh, you know what? I'll get her, reel her in. Get it? Cause I'm gonna ask her to marry me. I'm gonna reel her in and then I'm gonna kill her. Hello, little Rosie. What are you doing out here? Ooh, <gasps> Rosie's in heat. Rosie is in heat. Nancy has a big storm coming if Rosie gets pregnant. She really does, because she's about to get a bunch of puppies. She is in heat, she's ready. She's all horned up, like literally. Oh my God, she's doing her mating call. Nancy, I'm here for Winterfest! There she is. Oh, and there's Alienetta. Oh my god, wait. Would you look at this? Oh my god, look, she's so big now. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> I'm here. Oh. Hello. Uh, dag, dag. Oh, I just boosted yeah. her confidence. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? What? No, 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 no. Not again. Not again. I'm actually clenching my ass. I'm so nervous I'm going to die right now. Okay. Ooh, I went from hysterical to very sad. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and start handing out some gifts. Where is Alienetta? I want to start with her. I sidestepped up the stairs. Ah, 
because she likes it. <laughs> and you know what, you guys? I actually got Alienetta another gift too. Alienetta, I got you something else. <laughs> I hope you like it. A new wig. <laughs> A new wig! Oh my god, she loves her new wig. She's literally jumping for joy in trash because she loves it so much. All right, let's give everybody else their gifts. Let's start with Malcolm, because he's just sitting here. Happy Winterfest! Oh my god, he loved that, you guys. He literally loved it. I mean, he still hates me, but he hates me a little bit less. Nancy, time for your gift. Where is it? I got Nancy a mushroom. Don't you guys remember me buying that? You know what? Instead, I'll give Nancy um, a Jen McAllister original. Nancy, I've taken up photography as a hobby. This is for you. Oh, she liked it. Oh, she actually likes me now. Wow. And Major, last but not least. <laughs> Mary Winterfest. Oh, he likes it. Okay, wait, stop. This is helping my reputation too, by the way. I keep noticing those little symbols popping up over my head. Oh, okay. Well, I still have an awful reputation. Well, uh... I think we're missing someone here. Rita, come on over, baby. Isn't this lovely, you guys? Just one big, happy, blonde family and a ginger spending Winterfest together. This is beautiful. Ooh. Oh my God, Rita, hello. She came in through the back door, I guess. Hey, sexy baby, here's your Winterfest gift. Reel her in. She likes it! Why is she so uncomfortable? Whatever, doesn't matter. Let's get our flirt on. Kiss. Aw, we're really getting into it back there. Oh, oh my god. What? I don't remember telling her to do that, but okay. Where's the fuck option? Oh. What the? Are y'all homophobic or what's going on? Oh my god, they're getting so heated over this. Let's kiss under mistletoe. Affection. Ask to be girlfriend. Okay, there's step one. Oh, look! Major is playing with the toy I gave him. Oh, that's actually sweet. Sucks that she smells like shit. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, this is a big moment. Aspiration completed. Jen has looked for love in all the right places and achieved her dream of becoming a romantic connoisseur. Trait earned. Player. Sims will never cause jealousy. Wait, this is crazy. I completed the serial romantic aspiration. That's actually, that's crazy. Okay, well, let me pick my new aspiration. What's villainous Valentine? Oh, uh, this is my new aspiration easily. Oh my God. Get caught cheating, achieve X status, break up couples. Hello, that's me. Let me check out this uh, new trait that I have. Player. Players will never cause other sims to get jealous no matter what they do. That's actually super helpful. Wow. It's almost dinner time. I think I should get in the kitchen and start cooking our um, Winterfest dinner. And then after we eat, it's time for the big proposal. Cook grand meal. Let's do a ham dinner. Hello? I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Rita, what? No, we're not married. We're not even married, what? Nancy is literally the worst mother ever. Like Major Landgrab has been sitting in his own shit for this entire holiday. Oh my God, he just got covered in shit. Just then live, live, covered in shit while we were watching him. Come on everyone, it's time for dinner. Oh, no seat for Alienetta? Oh my God, here comes Major shit grab. All right, the grand meal has been munched. 
And now it's time for me to munch something else, if you know what I'm saying. I just gotta ask Rita to marry me first. This is the big mo- Oh, oh, oh! Hello? Father Winter's here. Okay, hold on. We gotta meet Father Winter and get his gifts first. <laughs> Fight Father Winter for presents! What? Hold on. Kyle texted me. You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society. But we don't care about all that. We value results. Wait, 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 wait. What was- What was that? Kyle needs to mind his own fucking business! You're dastardly. You're a dastardly man, Kyle. You are seriously the- most evil man I have ever met in my life, real or in a video game. All right, anyway, back to uh, beating up Father Winter for presents. Give me all your gifts. Rita, look away. Look away, Rita. <laughs> Rita, don't look at this! What? I don't care about your family! What is this? Oh, oh shit. What did I do? Wait. Whoa! I didn't know he was gonna despise me for doing that. But wait, look at this. Father Winter's gift bag was full of good stuff. Jen received a few presents in her inventory. You know, I don't even care. Let me see what these presents are. Copper, $20. Fossilized egg, $70. I hope there's more in my household inventory or else I'm pissed off. All right, anyway, it's time for the big moment, you guys. Actually, I'm excited that Father Winter is here for it. Wait a second. Angry? Oh, shit. I hope this goes well. She said yips! She said yips! Hello, why is no one giving us any attention? Whoa. Oh my god. It's time to get munching. Oh, damn, this child- I think that this child might actually be- taken away while we're here because holy shit. if i didn't make a grand meal i don't think he would have had any food either nancy's looking a little judgmental here but you know what i'm judging you nancy because of of that wait wait hold on hold on hold on sorry i am not interested in woohoo with women what We just got engaged! She's straight. But why are we engaged? Like, what the hell? So no munch? I can't even blow the dust off the box? It's crazy because after we munched, I was gonna celebrate, but now I just, I'm left feeling, I'm feeling a little bamboozled. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. That's not even the point of the challenge anyway. The point of the challenge is to marry different Sims and kill them and take their money. So, um, it's fine. We don't have to, we don't have to be intimate. I'm totally cool with that. I'm just, I guess I'm just really shocked. I'm really shocked, you guys. I was not expecting that. Because in my head, like, going into this marriage, I was like, oh, this is our second elder that we're marrying. The first one was actually our first marriage way back at the beginning of this series, if you remember. And and uh, I missed the opportunity to woohoo him to death because that is a thing you can do with elderly sims. You can like woohoo them until they die. So that was, that was my plan with Rita. I'm gonna just be completely honest with you guys. That's what I was thinking. Uh, so yeah, that is all playing into my shock here. Well, I guess we'll just have to marry another elder down the line and we'll do something different with Rita. <laughs> and they were just roommates. We are really just roommates, you guys. Vibes are a little weird. Uh, maybe there was something I can do to kind of bring back up the energy after that. I did see that there was a firework pad over here and it is... Winterfest, so maybe we could celebrate. Oh, I just stole something. <laughs> Everyone, come here! It's Winterfest, and I just got engaged! Oh, shit. Shit, a 
fire. Oh no. Oh no, you guys, I don't know how this started. I don't know how this started. I really don't. I don't know. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Okay. Whew. Oh my god, that was a close one, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought we would celebrate. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna steal their sprinkler system. Okay, I just shoved it up my ass. Let's go back inside and celebrate again. This time, our celebration cannot be stopped. Luckily, there's another firework pad in here. You guys, I'm engaged for the eighth time! Oh, fuck. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Do you think I can make it upstairs to the shower? All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Run. Run. <laughs> run. 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 Go. <laughs> Holy shit. Am I good? Uh, am I good? Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to take a second. Anyway, what's going on down here? Oh no! Oh no, oh no! Oh no. Oh, Santa does not give a fuck. Oh, yes he does, there he goes. Hey, Lena, get out of there, girl! Why is she glowing? Look at that. Stop, look at my Sim, she literally does not give a fuck. <laughs> Everyone is like freaking out and my sim is like so chill. Oh my god, this is the chillest girl I know. I'm literally winning that I don't give a f war. Alright, are the dogs outside? Okay, everyone's out, everyone's out, good. Oh! Oh, shit. No, why did this happen? Why? How did this happen? Uh, Rita's kind of chilling right now too. Like, wait, this is the chillest couple I know. If anything, Rita's like a little annoyed that everyone's so emotional right now. I'm like literally, <laughs> I'm literally smiling. Oh my God, it's really spreading. Well, Winterfest was successful, so that's good. This is so nice. Seriously, it's like when you search up like fireplace on YouTube and you put it on your TV so you have like a little bit of like ambiance. I can like feel the warmth. You can literally see the warmth of the fire blowing on my hands. This is what the fire would look like if you're looking inside the house from outside the windows. And this is what the fire would look like if you were walking down the street and you looked through the windows. So no one's gonna call the firefighters? Bruh, we- <laughs> Everyone has a thousand yard stare going on right now. Like, oh my god. Nancy is seriously not okay. I think Nancy hates me. Okay, okay, wait, I think it's getting smaller. Oh, I think. <laughs> oh shit, the fire made it outside. Oh my god, okay, it's actually gonna stop soon. Which is good, because I feel like I need to go home. Father Winter is like held hostage here. He's like, winter business is over, please let me leave. Oh my God, this fire is never going out. This is never going out. Oh, I think I just shit myself. Oh my God, this is, this is insane. <laughs> Rita is laying face down, ass up in my piss and shit. Can we make it to 24 hours, you guys? Can we have a 24 hour long fire? It's 4 p.m. I think the fire started around 8 or 9 p.m. We are so close to having a 24 hour fire. This is huge, but there's only three flames left. There's only two flames left. Will we make it to 24 hours? It's actually almost out now. Oh no, only one flame. 
Only one flame. Will this flame spread or will it die out? I have a feeling it's gonna die out. There's a lot of ash around it. I don't think anything else can quite burn anymore, but I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're making it to 24 hours. We are making it to 24 hours. There is officially no more fire left inside the house, but there is still a fire raging outside the house. We are almost at 24 hours. We're so close. I'm getting mixed reviews in the chat as to what the actual time the fire started was. I thought it was around 8 or 9 p.m., but some are saying closer to 11. So let's just go to 11. We're almost there. How is the sand on fire? It's literally sand. It's sand. Okay, we're at 8.30 p.m. There's honestly not a lot of flames left. Only... Only three flames. Only two flames left at 9, 16 p.m. Did we make it to 24 hours? Some are saying yes, some are saying no. We will only know when we watch the edit back. But I'm feeling like it's a yes. I'm feeling like it's a yes. <laughs> my, my 24 hour fire. I'm kind of sad that it's going out. I just feel like we spent a lot of time with this fire and it's crazy that it's just gonna, it's just gonna end, you know? Oh, it's still going. It's still going. How, what is burning right now? How it, how is this happening? What? All right, you guys, we're gonna make it to midnight to be sure that we had a 24 hour fire. And then I think I, I have to, like I have to call the fire department at this point because I'm about to die of hunger. But at least I'm feeling really flirty. All right, here we go. The clock is ticking. Only a few more minutes till midnight and it's official. We successfully had a 24 hour long fire. How are we all doing out here? Who oh, shit on the ground? I mean, let's be real, you guys. It's, it's kind of crazy that there... Where's Nancy? Did she die? Or is she just out? Maybe she's at work. Okay, she's still alive. I think she went to, I think she must've went to work. I was gonna say, it's kind of crazy that there's one, two, three, four, plus Nancy, five people that are able to call the fire department who just didn't for 24 hours. All right, finally, I'm calling the, where am I going? Okay, I guess I have to run over to the fire to call the fire department. Okay, the firefighters are on their way. Here comes that evil, nasty woman, Hiroko. Here she comes, I just know it's gonna be her. Okay, there's one firefighter, but not Hiroko. Who's this one? Oh, it's not Hiroko. Oh, I should have called them a long time ago. I didn't know it was gonna be new firefighters. Wow, all right, come on, put that out. Come on, firefighters. Come on! <sighs> wow. My heroes, for real. All right, how's everyone doing out here? Winter finally leaving like he dead ass was held hostage. Rita, look at Rita. <laughs> She's leaving. I think it's time for me to leave too. Let's get the f out of here. All right, I'm home. I need to get something to eat and fast because I, no. I'm down bad in many departments, but food is number one priority. I thought maybe I stole more than the two things in my inventory from Father Winter, but it looks like I didn't. Just these two items that I stole on my own, I guess. But this is worth over $1,000, so that's a good steal. 1,000 and about 600. That's not that. I gotta do a lot to fix myself up, but this is gonna be kind of hard because I'm really tired. So I think I'm just gonna have to let my Sim face plant a couple, oh, no! I cannot believe she got in the bed looking like that. She's covered in ashes. I was trying to say that I think I'm just gonna have to let her face plant a couple times so that I can get her in the shower before she goes to bed, but... Damn. 
Honestly, I get it. It's It's been a 24 hour fire. She needs her rest. Let's check my reputation after that fire. Oh my god! It's almost at the next level! Who even heard about the fire? How did how did anybody know? Okay, I think I'm finally back to a good place. And I think this is where I'm going to end today's episode. We're all set up to start the next episode with a beautiful wedding. And honestly, I'm fantasizing about it already. I, I just cannot wait. Well, that was truly crazy. So much happened in that episode, like so much. I can't, I can't even believe it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye YouTube.